What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmatch Wrestling Recap. We are on the road to WrestleMania and the Royal Rumble. Let's get right into an entertaining episode of Monday Night Raw. How are you doing, sir? Great, dude. So this was an interesting Raw, guys. Um, with Alexa Bliss to Bobby Lashley to Kevin Owens to Damian Priest to Edge to Beth Phoenix to Miz to Maurice. This Raw just really topped it off and got me excited for the Royal Rumble. So without further ado, Raw does kick off with... It's the official weigh-in for the WWE Championship, both Lashley and Lesnar eventually stepping on the scale. Of course, both managers ringside talking trash to both men and to each other, hyping up this segment. It actually ended clean. Brock Lesnar giving that Bobby Who little uh, statement, making the crowd laugh a little bit. Kind of got me giggled a little bit, but uh, it was interesting, and I'm happy to see what um, WWE has in plan for Royal Rumble with these two. Oh, absolutely. I think this is going to be a great match. I mean, Brock Lesnar is just... Being a ham on Monday Night Raw, wearing a cowboy hat, coming out with Paul Hammond. I love to see it. Uh, he looked great. Um, but next we have Bianca Belair and Zelina battle in a singles match. You know, it was another one of those, we can show you how us women can fight. The EST really reversing um, Zelina's offense. Zelina, she did give a good fight in this match, trying to prove how she does want to stay in WWE. But eventually, uh, countering a cold red hit in the KOD, Bianca Belair beating Zelina clean. It is what it is. I'm, I'm happy Zelina still got some spotlight on uh, Raw. Yeah, I mean, Bianca Belair really building momentum as we head towards the Royal Rumble. And could she be a two-time winner of that event as she won last year? We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I mean, it could be interesting. Um, what happened next? We see Kevin Owens battling at Damian Priest. It was another rematch for that United States Championship. Oh, this was a great match. This was a phenomenal match. Dude, Kevin Owens, he just wouldn't give up. And I think Priest got a little pissed off. He was like, well, I really have no chance. So Priest stomps Kevin Owens in the corner, going past the ref's count, eventually getting disqualified. Kevin Owens won, but Damian Priest was still the champion. So Kevin Owens, I think we're going to see a few more uh, matches between these two. Oh, I wouldn't mind to see it at all. Damien Priest using that champion's advantage, smart on his play. We then see Alexa Bliss continue with their psychology treatment and just an absolute chaotic, weird thing. I don't know how to no, say it. No, the storytelling in this, it's so quiet, like the background, but then them talking is just so, like, perfect. So the psychologist actually asked Alexa what it was like and how she met how she met Lily when she was young. And Alexa was talking about how she met Lily in elementary school, I think, and how girls used to make fun of her in school for wearing uh, these funny little glasses. And then her and Lily went to get ice cream one day. And then one day those girls were never anywhere to be found. So kind of confusing. I think Lily uh, killed some people. So I mean, I don't know, man. Got to watch out for Alexa Bliss and Lily burying little kids in the backyard. But I cannot wait for Alexa Bliss to return to um, the squared circle. So that's going to be absolutely interesting to see what goes on with Lily and Alexa Bliss. I think they're trying to fiend off a little bit of that Bray Wyatt because um, everybody oh, still boy, has that yeah. feeling with her and the Fiend very wide. So we're going to have to wait and see what they have in plan for her as a singles run. So we're going to wait and see. Yeah, absolutely. I think she could be returning at the Royal Rumble, and uh, I think she got a strong chance of winning that match. I think so. We then see a six-woman tag team match, kind of a filler match. Who were the participants, Matthew? It was Rhea Ripley. We have Dana Brooke and Liv Morgan taking on the team of Nikki A.S.H., Carmella, and Tamina. Kind of weird seeing Tamina as a face, but... I mean, it is what it is. I like seeing it. The match does break down with all women attacking each other with Carmella tapping out to a reverse cloverleaf by Rhea Ripley. Happy to see Rhea Ripley still having some spotlight, even though her and Nikki are not together. I'm happy to see them have Rhea look strong and powerful through Raw, not taking any L's, so good to them. Oh, no, dude, I cannot agree with you more. I think this is the first step for Rhea Ripley's singles run, and I think they're building it in the right direction for once. Well, with a singles run as a tag team, we have the saga between RK Bro and Alpha Academy. Oh, this Continue. is a great saga. I do like it with Orton taking on Chad at Gable with Otis ringside providing distraction. It still was not enough for the Viper with Gable countering a punk kick. That devastating punk kick, man, I'm happy it's back with an ankle lock, but Orton does escape and hits the RKO for the win. No roll up, just an RKO, baby. I don't know where! We then see the young, talented Austin Theory take on AJ Styles next. Let me just say, this is like a TNA match. I could really see these two just blowing the roof off of the place. This could be like a phenomenal match. Austin Theory, I AJ see what Styles, you did there. It really could be. A clean match with AJ attempting to tap out Theory. Theory then tripping Styles with the ref catching Austin Theory using the ropes during a pinfall onto the phenomenal one. Styles then recovering, hitting that phenomenal forearm for the win. Happy to see AJ take a win over Austin Theory. He didn't put over Austin Theory, but... Austin Theory does have a lot to prove still come um, against AJ Styles. So I think they're going to have this match um, pretty long with them too. And hopefully it does culminate maybe at WrestleMania. 
Oh, dude, that would be absolutely awesome. I think AJ Styles and Austin Theory work so well together, and I wouldn't mind seeing this match be run back a few more times. With people working well together, what is it? The Mysterios, Rain Dominic taking on the Street Profits. Guys, this was another great um, tag team match we had tonight. Father and son really showing their worth together. Dominic and Ray really giving it to their opponents with Ford. He did counter a 619, but Ray recovered with a roll up for the win. Dominic and Ray really worked well together. I think they're going to prolong the Dominic and Ray um, feuding with one another. I don't know if they're going to do it till WrestleMania, but they might prolong it a little bit later. So I kind of want to see it, but they're going to wait a little long on that. I mean, great week for the Mysterios. Ray being announced for the 2K22 WWE cover, yes. and they picked up a win on Monday Night Raw. You couldn't ask for anything better. I think so. Um, I'm happy for 2K22. I think I'm going to buy it. Oh, me too. I already bought it. Pre-ordered already. Well, let's go to our main event, guys. We have The Miz. Absolute shit show. Throwing Maurice a birthday party. Hopefully hyping up their match against Edge and Beth Phoenix at the Royal Rumble. The Miz giving his wife a few gifts. The first one was a portrait of them two. Miz as a prince and Maurice as a princess. Oh I get what they were doing there. The second was a bejeweled box. So a box, you know, full of jewels and covered of jewels i'm sorry which that one wasn't actually for maurice he says it was for uh beth phoenix there was a brick in the box as edge and beth then come down enough of their shenanigans attempting to attack ms and maurice wiping out security guards but ms and maurice do escape ms holding the brick high above his head oh it's coming it's coming into royal rumble they better be ready for it man this was certainly an interesting way to end monday it night was Raw. interesting it was let us know what you thought about the show. Always like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you Saturday for a SmackDown recap. Peace out. Can't wait, guys. Thank you. Come on and fight back.